Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time to make our predictions for the Grand Slams for 2022 for the WTA, for the women's tournaments. Now, this is nearly impossible. I mean, we all know that the WTA is random as it is. Let's start with the Australian Open, though, because this is a little bit of an interesting pick. The Australian Open's only a month away, maybe the easiest one to pick. Let's go check it out. So starting with the Australian Open for 2022, you guys have gone and picked... Ash Barty, which is a pretty good pick. She is the favorite to win the tournament. Played very well there in the past. A lot of you thought maybe Naomi Osaka as well, but at this moment, I think Ash Barty is the most informed player and she is the top seed and the favorite and the hometown favorite. So interesting pick. And I've also gone with Ash Barty for all of those reasons. So we're both going with Barty at the start of the year. We both went with Osaka at the start of last year. So maybe we can both get it right and get the first one on the board. So the Australian Open, we're both going with the hometown hero, Ash Barty. But again, you know, random things happen in all the tournaments. And the Australian Open could be a little bit random. But look, we'll go with the top seed. We'll go with the favorite. See what happens. Barty, she played well at Wimbledon. She actually played well at the Australian Open last year up until that quarterfinal loss. Let's go check out the French Open, though, because the French Open over the last few years has been super random on the women's side. All right, so let's look at the women's French Open champion for next year. You guys have picked Iga Fiontek. So you guys think that she can get her second Grand Slam title and a second French Open title next year? Not a bad pick. Had a pretty good clay court season this year. And my pick, it's a little bit different. I'm going to go with Bedossa. I think that Bedossa had a really good season on the clay this year. And I feel like on the slower surfaces, like Indian Wells, where she won, I think she can do well. So I'm going to go with Bedossa to win the French Open next year. So the French Open, it always is a bit random, so it's very tough to pick. For all we know, someone named, someone outside the top 100 could win it, as this happened over the last few slams and in the WTA. So we'll see what happens at the French Open. Very random. Sakri could have been a pick. Sabalenka's not bad. Barty also was a popular one. And Muguruza. So there's some interesting names there, but we'll see what happens. It's always very random at the French Open. Let's go check out Wimbledon for next year. So looking at the Wimbledon title for next year, you guys have gone with Ash Barty, which is a good pick, defending champion. Very, very good on the grass this season and played very well at the Wimbledon tournament. Beat a lot of good players to win that title. Well-deserved. And I almost went with Barty, but I decided to change my pick at the last minute, and I went with Sabalenka. Now, Sabalenka made the semifinals, ended up losing to Pliskova, but I feel like it might be a Barty-Sabalenka final. I feel like Sabalenka will get the win just based on her power and the fast surface of the grass. So that's why I picked Sabalenka. I feel like next year she's due to win her first major of her career, in the singles, and I feel like it could be at the Wimbledon tournament with the fastest surface and her game. So I've gone with Sabalenka, you've gone with Barty. It could be the final. That would be very fun to watch. So Wimbledon, maybe for the men, is very easy to pick. But for the women, again, it's WTA. It's very hard to pick. You could have put a lot of players in that category. Pliskova, if she comes good after her early injuries next year, she could probably come good. Ons Jabor played pretty well. Kerber came out of nowhere, uh, I guess you could say, this year. Uh, Krejcikova, she's not bad on the grass, but we've gone with the top two seeds or the top two players in the world as of now, Barty and Sabalenka. See what happens in about six months. Everything could change. Let's go look at the US Open champion because the US Open champion for this year, no way we would have guessed it. Let's see if we can guess it 12 months away. All right, so looking at the US Open champion for 2022, you guys have gone with Naomi Osaka. And I'll tell you what, that's not a bad pick. She obviously didn't win it this year. Uh, she played pretty poorly this year, and we all know that she had her troubles off court. But she did win it two years ago, and she seems to win it every second year. So maybe there's a bit of a pattern there, and that's also why I picked Naomi Osaka. I feel like if she's playing her best, she owns the US Open. She is just so good at the US Open if she plays her best. And she lost to Fernandez this year, coming in with not much matches behind her. You know, didn't have much uh, much practice, I guess you could say, between events. So I feel like Naomi Osaka, if she's playing her best, the US Open is hers for the taking, and you guys think the same. So there we go. We've gone both with Osaka to finish off the year. We think Osaka's going to win the US Open next year. And look, I think she's played very well there. When the pressure isn't on, when she's the defending champion, she doesn't play as well in the past. So I feel like maybe not being the defending champion, not as much pressure, she might be able to fly under the radar and maybe steal the title. So there you have it. They are the picks for the Grand Slams for next year. And I'll tell you what, if we get one out of four, I mean, that's pretty good because the WTA is nearly impossible. All the players we picked are, I guess, somewhat obvious uh, with Barty and, and Osaka and you know Sabalenka, all the players that have either done well in the past or are at the top of the game right now. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to pick? What are your personal picks for the WTA? Because I'll tell you what, if you can pick the WTA, 
six or well, 12 months in advance and you get at least two or three right, you are doing something crazy. So uh, write them down in the comments below because it's gonna be very interesting to see in 12 months time, how many of these we actually get right. So they're the predictions for the WTA for 2022, the winners of the Grand Slams. Let's see how well we do.